Hi lovelies! Alrighty, so I have bags of stuff here because I finally did my first witchy shopping trip of the year. Um, Kevin and I went out of town. It was a really last minute thing. Last night we decided to go and stay in a hotel and it was really nice just to kind of get away for a little bit and we normally when we go shopping our thing is like window shopping and then that's pretty much it. But we were blessed with all kinds of things. It just so happened that like everything that we have been looking for like in your mind you think of things like oh I'd like to pick this up and like everything was at the places we went to. So I'm going to show you guys all the goodies that I got. Um, so, got a couple different books, because that's what I do. I add to my collection. Um, I don't really have any books on tarot, and I've been very interested in learning. So, I got tarot spreads. Uh, includes 122 different layouts um, by Evelyn Berger and Johannes Biebig, maybe? Oh, that book. I got... Um, the Witch's Bag of Tricks by Melanie Marquis, or Mar Marquois, or, um, put the spark back in your spell work, uh, which I thought was interesting because it kind of talks about how, um, to get that feeling back, like when you first discovered witchcraft, and you first discovered all that goodness, and you get that excitement, and, and I was going through, and there's a lot of actually really interesting exercises in here, and and there's just really a lot of interesting chapters and a lot of them as I was flipping through caught my attention and I went to put it back and I couldn't put it back so it came home with me. It's kind of how I do my shopping. If I can put something back I don't need it but if I can't it's gotta come home. Um, these I couldn't pass up on because they were in the bargain section so I got Witchcrafting, A Spiritual Guide to Magical Ma or Magic, Blah! Making Magic by Phyllis Carrot and she's the one that also um, wrote the uh, Book of Shadows. She's a Wiccan High Priestess. And for five bucks, there's a lot of good information in here. can pass it up. Oops. Okay, this book I have been looking at for a long time. It was at a lot of different places. Um, this is the Llewellyn Complete Book of Psychic Empowerment. Look at how fucking big this book is, okay? And it was originally $35, and I just couldn't I just couldn't do it, and it was on clearance for 15 and the amount of shit that they have in here is just, oh my god, it is phenomenal. And it's used, so somebody went through and highlighted some shit, but it's fine. Um, I was trying to find the, just to give you guys a little bit about like what's in here. Um, like ESP stuff's in here, astral projection, out-of-body experiences, auras, seeing and reading them, the chakra system, clairvoyance, all the different clairs are in here, uh, magical, magic and ritual, dream interpretations, uh, reincarnation, psychokinesis, um, sigils, telepathy, like on and on and on and on. There's like 40 different, I mean, it is phenomenal, so... I, I had to. My bad. <laughs> um, got a Himalayan salt uh, candle holder. Because love me my Himalayan salt lamps. Um, I was out of my all-time favorite incense. The uh, essential essences. My sandalwood. Boop. Got two bags of those. Smells like heaven. Um, I got this new incense. It's just called natural incense. Um, and that's all it says on it, but it smells really, really good, so incense. Can't go wrong with incense. Um, got a, um, Reiki, car Reiki charged candle for abundance, um, and this one has an essential oil fragrance blend of citronella, clove, lemon balm, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Kevin picked this one out, so I got that. Oh, it can go in my little... Oh, nope, it can't. It doesn't fit. Oop. That's okay. Okay, got that. And then this is the one that I picked out. Um, this one's a uh, spirit candle. And this one has sage, lemon, and clove. And it's actually... You can't see it in camera, but it's shimmery. Fucking love it. Okay. That. Um... Bag 
of goodness. So, the store that, the one store, Higher Self, that I go to has um, the little um, spirit animals that are carved out. Some of them are Jasper, some of them are like sandstone. But I've never really, I mean, I've always looked at them and picked them up, but I've never really felt drawn to any of them. And it's so weird because I went over there and I found, I picked up this little pig. How cute is he? I can't even stand it. And I couldn't put him back down. Like, I was instantly drawn to this pig. And so, got a little card to go with the pig. Um, and so, he's going to be my new little altar buddy. And then, Kevin showed me the owls. And I'm like, yeah, I know. But every time I look at the owls, like, none of them, I'm never drawn to any of them. And then, he picked one up to show it to me. And the one under the one that he picked up was another one that I ended up picking up and I couldn't put down. So, got another little spirit animal, and there's his, uh, <laughs> just kidding. There's his card, too. Boop. He's got those. And then Kevin picked out one, and his is the most adorable little frog. So, that. Okay, so that was the one store. Then, we went, I don't know how often you guys shop at TJ Maxx. Um, but the shit that you can get there for cheap is fantastic. So then the rest of this is, well, almost all the rest of it is from TJ Maxx. Um, so I got a bunch of different, uh, jars for, like, oils and stuff like that. There was one. Oh my gosh, this lady, like, wrapped the shit out of them. Maybe you won't see all of them, because they're, like, wrapped real good, but I got of these bigger ones. Yeah, there's another one. Um, this one is a big jug that is wrapped in like ooh, big old jug. So I got that. He was five dollars. You can pay us up on that. It's five bucks. Um, else did I get from there? We got. Some teas, so anti-stress and detoxify. I love some teas. I'm running out of space. Um, I got some organic shampoo and conditioner. They're lavender, so I'm excited to try those. We'll see how those work. And then I got some lemon drops. Those are for me. I love lemon drops. Um, I don't remember what this is. Oh yeah, super excited. So I also got. And I guess I got all the other ones in there. Um, they had little jars of cinnamon sticks. And so I got a couple jars of those. This is all still TJ Maxx, people. Cheap. Like, super cheap. And the stuff that they have there is just fantastic. And then they also had a stop, um, thing of lavender. You can never have too much lavender. Ever. So I got that. Um... Oh, man, what else? Did I, oh, my God. This. Okay, I'll show you this last because this is, like, my pride and joy. Um, got an astrological calendar, even though we're two months into the year. Um, so this goes through, and it shows, like, all kinds. Of, it gives you horoscopes, introduction to astrology, uh, vacation and travel forecast, um, planting and fishing days, Major daily aspects, monthly stuff, eclipses, uh, retrograde information, all that goodness. Okay. I think that was, I think that was pretty much it, because I have got to show you. So, we were at, um, oh my god, I can't think of the, Kevin, what's the name of that store that we found the, that we found my statue? Sleeping Tiger Imports. It's in a mall. And, um, they have, like, all of these different statues of, like, all kinds of shit. And Kevin pointed this out, and I literally was so excited that I almost cried. And that's not even joking. Okay, so you guys know my absolute love and affinity for owls. Um... In particular, the barn owl. The barn owl is like, oh my god, I, I just 
Wah! I love, love barn owls. And he found, look at this statue. This barn owl with her two little baby chicks. And the thing was, when we saw it, is I've seen barn owls, like stuffed animals and statues, but they don't have the right facial, facial features. They always make their face super round, and then it's like they just draw hard on it. And this one just has such fantastic detail. I was so excited. I literally almost cried. So this is... This is my new baby. This is going on my altar. She's going to get a special spot somewhere. Um, yeah, so that was my fantastically awesome shopping trip. At least I think that was, I think that was everything. Yeah, that's just my second bag. Um, that's all bags. Yeah, so, no, it's not. Ha -ha! One more thing. I got a ring and it says namaste isn't that cool yeah so i got that too yay okay so that was my first 2015 witchy shopping trip and i thought i thought it went extremely well um one of the biggest hauls i've had in quite a while if not ever so i'm going to work on putting all of these goodnesses away and yeah, I will see you guys all later.